What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we have another 151 opening, and this one is for the Ultra Premium Collection. Um, yeah, actually, our vendor managed to get this a little bit early. I'm not sure how early it is in the grand scheme of things. I want to say it comes out August, the end of the first week of August, like 5th or 6th or something. Essentially, probably like next Friday, um, as of the date of releasing this. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a quick look at it. We'll give uh, my own thoughts about the UPC and just a little bit about 151 in general. Now we'll probably talk about some of the recent stuff like the whole Van Gogh thing. Oh man, that's stressful. But uh, all right, let's talk about the box first. Uh, I feel like, is it bigger than the Charizard UPC? I do like the packaging so far. And to be honest, I don't know off the top of my head what's in, ooh, wow, look at that. That's really, that's really nice presentation. Um, oh, and this comes out and everything. All right, that is, I feel like, oh, the Charles, the Zard one and actually the previous ones kind of had like those boxes and stuff. Uh, so this one's kind of like more plastic, less reusable, but yeah, very, I feel like the presentation's great. We got a play mat, we got our packs over here. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying this. I like the box, the coins, yep, whatever. And uh, yeah, we got a, a new playmat that we'll probably set up later. And I think that's it. So, packaging, I love it. Probably a little bit less reusable as far as the box goes, but you know, for that nice organization, actually, I think this is amazing. And I do want to take a look at the centering, but man, it just makes a nice display piece and everything. Very simple, very elegant. I like it. See how easy this is to open. Oh, okay, so further makes it a display. And maybe I can get the promos out from the side without damaging. I probably won't open too many of these. You know what, I'm gonna do this um, off camera just to see how the centering is. But we're gonna put that in the background Okay, I'm all for this. Is it 15 packs? One, two, three, four, five, eight, five, and eight. So 16 packs all together. Why is it really just on or whatever? Here we go. We'll jump right into it. Pack number one. So yeah, actually, I as of filming of this, actually, I haven't checked this morning, but um, I feel like it's always been in stock at Target. So. If I had to guess that it's going to be similar to the Charizard UPC where it's just not that hard to get and you know paying above MSRP is completely unnecessary. Uh, no evidence to support that claim but that's just going to be my guess. You know I think Pokemon is definitely willing to continue to mash the print button on some products which I think is completely fine. Uh, if we think about like the celebrations UPC and you know just how like the price was on the secondary market was absurd and the Zard one, and especially for like modern product, like it should just be readily available. Ooh, oh, this is one I really wanted. Okay, very nice. So we did get the Machoke, the, like the Machoke Moving Company. The house looks kind of small, but I feel like that's just perfect. Oh, that's, I'm really happy with that pull. Oh, we got reverse energy. All right, so as far as 151 goes uh, between myself and patrons. We haven't hit any home runs. No, no like stage two starters. Actually, I think the only starter I pulled was off camera. It was Ivysaur and it was poor quality. This looks quite good. This was pretty high on my hit list. So very happy with this. Good start to this video. And so kind of where I was going with the uh, ETB sleeve, so we'll just keep this off this side. UPC, I do think, you know, it's not necessary to keep them sealed for like long term. I think, actually, I wonder if this kind of falls in the category. It's like, we should open at least one. And what was it, 16 packs, so that comes out to like, what, 80, but then the promo. So like, even if you were to open more of them, uh, like I think the thing to definitely keep sealed would be the PC ETBs. And uh, I'm a little jealous because I don't have any of them. We got the regular Alkazam. As far as regular EXs, that looks pretty good. And maybe the regular ETBs, I'm, I'm gonna guess that those are printed quite a bit as well. But if we look at like previous examples, 
like celebration ETBs, I don't think are available. Shining Fates is. So maybe that's just like a bad, kind of like incorrect guess as far as what to keep printing. But so ETBs, I'm not sure. PC ETBs definitely keeps keep sealed. Um, UPCs, I, I, if I were to guess, it's going to be available for quite a while. But again, based on nothing. And yeah, the binder definitely worth opening one. I didn't open any of the poster. And a Raichu. So we definitely have cooldown on the hits. But yeah, I'm really feeling this product for the promos. A pretty good Mewtwo, a gold Mew, which is whatever. But then that Mew alt art, the fact that that is a promo is, I think, great in my opinion. All right, we got a Horsey to a Tentacruel. That's pretty good for Tentacruel. To a Aerodactyl. Not bad as well. All right, so we did get a very nice hit, one that I'm totally happy to have in the collection. But now we need to get some of the, make my, make this purchase worth it. I think this MSRP is for 120. And again, if you are looking to pick some up, I checked Target, I'm pretty sure that we're still in stock. Although I think tomorrow they're gonna have one of those Target things where you get like $10 off of something if you spend a certain amount, another reverse energy. So I may pick up, I'm not sure whether there'd be more e uh, ETBs. Actually, I'm not sure if those are in stock. I want to say they are, or more UPCs with that with that offer. All right, we have cooled off. Let's start it back up. Charmeleon. I did see a couple like uh, little videos on Reddit for the uh, the God packs. It's like, oh man, that would, that must feel so good. And I think maybe an indicator, because I think like the first rare slot, is it ever anything? Unless it's that. A Magikarp, Paris into a Vaporeon. All right, we are ice cold now. Uh, while I'm happy about the Machoke, if that's all we have to show for it, this video or this opening would be kind of a bust. But since it's probably the only UPC I'll be opening, um, yeah, I'm really excited to check out the, the promos, how they look. And just that stand. That's so good. A Poliwag into a Vileplume. A lot of reverse energies. Alright, let's talk about the Van Gogh thing. Um, I was very upset. I was not able to get anything, but I think I was more upset with myself. Yeah, no, I think the, the previous day, every 30 minutes, just refreshing to see if anything became available. Nothing ever did, it was a very long day. And then I just missed the start. I think it was like 11 a.m. EST, which I was, I think after maybe 10.30, I must've just thought, oh, it's probably noon. And it happened at 11 and got there late. Was not able to get anything. And as always, the website is just so frustrating. You managed to get something in your cart, but then you can't check out because maybe it's because then the item was sold out. Not that you can tell. In the cart, it says it's still in stock. Oh, what a fiasco. So ultimately, long story short, didn't get anything. Very frustrated with the whole situation. And I think like online, the promo is going for like $100 for a free card. So I'm definitely not going to buy that. I may have an opportunity for someone to actually go to the museum and maybe can pick up some stuff for me. So still holding out, heard some rumors that maybe they're gonna restock and actually kind of like the UPC, if this ends up being something they just keep making more because I think if they made, you know, five million or whatever, an uh, absurd amount of promos, like those, those, the merchandise is actually really cool. Like I feel like it would continue to sell out and if that means that it just dilutes on the secondary market, like I'm sure people would be upset about that. But like for for a modern product, you know, if it was just kind of like made to demand, I'd be all for that. So yeah, it did not go well for me. <laughs> Let me know how things went for you if you were able to get some, and if so, what. Get, oh my gosh, this, <laughs> we start off so strong and this is so painful. Um, 
I did not offer this to patrons. Uh, I only have so many, but if you are interested in doing a break, let me know. Uh, it won't be as cheap as like the other products, like the ETB and stuff, but uh, we'll work something out. And I was like, oh, watch this be like, I was thinking, watch this be when I pull like the, the Charizard or something. <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, maybe it's good. This isn't for a patron because this is brutal. Oh man, after such a strong start too, like, ooh, I'm, I probably pulled this before, but that looks pretty cool. Big air balloon. All right, it's something. Um, the fact that this is quote unquote secret rare is kind of insulting. Uh, I do like the simplicity of this Kangaskhan. So not too bad. Care to badger will get you graded. But I'll put you in one of these. All right, last pack. So my own thoughts are very solid products. Definitely worth opening at least one. I'm curious where like the promos will end up on the secondary market. Uh, if they end up like five dollars or something, you know, then probably not worth continuing to open them. Um, again, PC ETBs are definitely keep sealed. ETBs less so. Like between this and ETBs, honestly, I'm not sure. I think it just comes down to where the promos end up. So last pack, I don't think we have a god pack, obviously. And a Cedra into a, all right, it's not nothing. We got nine tails EX. So kind of like we got four hits, one hit that I'm happy, quite happy about, but none of those home runs. And it's kind of been the theme of the sets where uh, like the fact that we don't have like the best of luck is, you know, it is what it is and if it is just really hard to pull that you know congrats to everyone that does pull it um but i'm still very very a bit much a big fan of this set and yeah i think it's just about setting expectations for yourself as you go into it upc very cool presentation great promos definitely recommend open at least one from there maybe just check how the singles go single prices end up and then from there just kind of like how much you want to pay per pack kind of thing so that's going to be it for me today thanks for watching i'm wanna turtle i'll catch you all next time peace